What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna tell you why you suck at coding. Now to be clear, I don't necessarily think you suck at coding, but a lot of you seem to think that you suck at coding. If you go on any online programming community, especially Reddit or Twitter, even the YouTube comments, you see a lot of people who genuinely think they suck at coding. People who are complaining or asking for help, wondering how they can get better because they feel like they might not be cut out for programming because they suck at coding. And so in this video, I want to share with you four of the most common reasons that I think people might genuinely suck at coding and how to actually improve proof. Reason number one that you suck at coding is that you think you suck at coding. So you don't actually suck at coding, you just think you do. Classic imposter syndrome. And to be honest, this might be the most common reason. I don't know what it is about the field of programming, but there are so many people who have imposter syndrome, who think genuinely so that they suck at coding even though they don't. And here, all that I can say to you, if that is you, is that you do not suck at coding, you just have this stupid imposter syndrome. I made a video a few years Years ago on how to combat imposter syndrome, especially in the context of software engineering. I think the content in that video is evergreen, so it'll apply just as much now as it did back then. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Go check it out. The second reason that you suck at coding is because you conflate not knowing everything there is to know about coding with sucking at coding. For example, you are a front-end developer who has never really worked on the back-end, so you don't know back-end development, and therefore you suck at coding. Or vice versa, you're a back-end developer, you've never worked on the front-end, or you've never worked in deep infrastructure, therefore you suck at coding. Or you're not good at timed algorithm problems, like the ones that are often found in technical interviews, therefore you suck at coding. You don't understand how Git works under the hood, or what Docker is, or what Kubernetes is, therefore you suck at coding, because you see one of your coworkers who knows how Git works under the hood, or another one who knows what Docker is. Hopefully you get what I'm implying here. You are conflating not being specialized in every aspect of software engineering with sucking at coding, which is really silly because I would actually dare say that in software engineering, specializing in a subset, which will naturally mean that you you will not be as good in other subsets of the field is actually a great way to be a great software developer. For example, you can be a backend developer who has worked for 10 years plus in the backend, has never touched the front end, and that does not make you a bad developer. That can actually mean that you are a great developer just who happens to specialize in the backend. And for other parts of software engineers, sometimes it's just a matter of educating yourself a little bit, spending a little bit of time to learn something new, like the internals of Git, or to practice something that requires practice, like algorithm style problems. You can do that on my company, algoexpert.io. Of course, you have to use the promo code CLEM for a discount on the platform. But so that's why you suck at coding, because you're conflating things and you don't actually suck at coding, just like that first reason. Now, moving on to reason three that you suck at coding, here you actually suck at coding, it's because you don't code enough. You see, coding is a skill like any other skill, meaning that it requires practice to become better. And the more you practice it, the better you become. The more time you spend coding or doing coding related things like code reviews or reading design docs, documentation, learning about new technologies, the better you will become. If you are just starting out learning coding and you are only spending, let's say, an hour a day coding, well, you will not be as good as someone who's spending eight hours a day coding. Or if you're working a normal job as a software engineer, let's say 40 hours a week, you will likely not be as good as someone who not only has a 40 hour week coding job, but who also works another 40 hours a week on a side project or side business that involves coding. Now, I'm not saying that the second thing is better than the first thing, depends on your life goals and all that, but if you are bad at coding, if you genuinely suck at coding, it might just mean that you need to spend more time coding. And now the fourth and final reason that I want to talk about here that you suck at coding is whoever you are surrounded with in your coding coding environment. So you've probably heard the saying that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with in life. That's a great saying that I think has a lot of truth to it, and it carries over to coding and software engineering. If you are surrounded by people who 
aren't very technically capable, like quite frankly, bad software engineers. And this could be because you're in a bad learning environment or you're in a bad company that doesn't really prioritize technical excellence, then you will be a bad programmer because you will not learn from these people. Or if you do learn from them, you will learn bad practices. And this is one of the reasons that Fang is often put on a pedestal in the context of software engineering, because when you work at Fang, a company like Google, Meta, Amazon, you're usually surrounded by really, really good software engineers with really, really good software engineering practices and techniques, and you can learn from them. You can be a sponge. I think I learned a lot of good software engineering things when I was at Google, when I was at Facebook, that I may not have learned elsewhere. And so here I would put the onus on you to look around you and see, are you in an environment where people are technically excellent? Do you feel like you're learning good things from them? If not, you may want to do something to move, perhaps to another company or to another team, something that will allow you to be surrounded by really good people. And to be honest, this also applies to learning coding. Oftentimes in college classes, you don't learn the most appropriate, like, coding patterns, especially to develop actual software and work at a real company. And that can be bad because you will then feel it later on in your career. And so here I'll actually shamelessly plug Programming Expert, our Learn to Code product, where we really try to teach you coding within the context of getting a job, getting a software engineering career, and learning some of these important sort of patterns and things to do that will make you a good programmer, that will make you not suck at coding. So that's my fourth and final reason. Let me know what you think about these reasons in the comments below. Do you think you suck at coding and you relate to one of these four reasons? Let me know. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form and content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.